Y'all are gonna watch me teach my mom how to hook me up to my infusions. <laughs> so if I fail, don't worry. <laughs> my loved ones, they want to help me, but they don't always know how. So that's why I show them. everyone so as you can see behind me Judd has laid out all of his army national guard gear which means this weekend is drill weekend so he's gonna head off to Orlando after work and he'll be back on Sunday I'm not going with him this time because I just want a weekend with my mom and I mother-daughter weekend and we're gonna chill here with Harlow we're gonna have a girls weekend so that'll be nice in case you're new here and you're wondering, Judd is an infantryman in the Army National Guard. He's been in for three years. One year was spent training for a deployment. One year was spent deployed overseas. He was in Africa and he's been home a year. And he is also a law enforcement officer, but since things with the National Guard are federal orders, his job is safe if he's training or deployed or whatever it may be. And I've been asked, what are we gonna do if Judd deploys again? Well, his unit deploys every few years, but you never know, it's just the needs of the military when they go. And probably we'll have my mom move in with me here permanently, but honestly, we haven't given it a ton of thought because it's not imminent right now. Well, my mom and I are getting ready to hit the road because I gotta go see my local podiatrist, which I'm not too excited about. So I've had problems with ingrown toenails. I know that sounds really gross, but Mine actually became really bad and super infected and I was on antibiotics for a really long time. It made me really sick. This was like the beginning of 2016. It lasted months. And so then this podiatrist looked and said when I first had the, it's a, called a surgery, but it's like they numb your toe, make a small incision, cut the nail out, and it's not that big a deal. But he said the first time I had it done, the doctor did it terribly. And so he corrected it. And then what they do is they use a chemical to burn off the end of the nail so it doesn't grow where it shouldn't anymore but of course i don't heal correctly because my ehlers stanlow syndrome and i think i'm starting to have issues with an ingrown toenail again and he was like it'll never ever ever happen again i was like you wait and see my body can uh play tricks on you <laughs> so i gotta go see him to see if i'm having another issue with this we're on the way my gorgeous mother is here thank you for driving me mom i appreciate it hello <laughs> And I'm really thankful because today I'm feeling well enough dizziness and balance wise to utilize Harlow for counterbalance instead of my walker, which is amazing because I've been really reliant on my walker lately. So to have this nice little bit of relief, I am so happy for that. So I'm gonna be really thankful. So the walk from the car into the doctor's office, I get to use my service dog. Good dog. And I love the paper, it's so funny. <laughs> Look at that. The appointment went well, but we found a store with a handicap button, so Harlow's gonna practice. Ready? Harlow, hit it. Hit it. Girl, hit it. Here. Harlow, hit it. Yes, hit it. Harlow, hit it. Hit it. Harlow, hit it. Good girl, you did it. Awesome dog. She is Look. a good dog. Don't fall, Jacqueline. I'm okay. Hard did so well pressing that button, and you saw that it took her a while and she was confused. And that's because dogs are situational, meaning, okay, she can press the button at home really well, but now this one was a new button in a new location, so it was confusing. So I just gave her more encouragement, I was patient, she took longer, and then she got it and I gave her a lot of praise. And that is why we practice her skills in lots of different locations to really solidify what she's learning. And she's gonna get it, I know she is. That's gonna be such a useful skill for her to have when I'm using my custom wheelchair more. And the appointment went well, no ingrown toenail, thank goodness. It was just like the nail was growing a little wrong and there was like a callus there or something. I don't know, talking about feet isn't like the most glamorous thing, but he just had to uh, trim it down and fix it for me and he said it shouldn't give me any issues, which is awesome because I hate getting the lidocaine needles in my toe. It freaks me out. So to me, that was a good appointment and now we're on the way home. Harlow, you tell the people we're home? So we're back home. 
I'm back to using the walker, not because I'm feeling worse, but Har isn't vested in the house, so she doesn't have a pull strap. I can't use her for counterbalance, and she loves working, but at home I just want her to be out of work mode and in total dog mode. So that's why, you know, here, I mean, she helps me with other task work at home for sure, but she is not going to do counterbalance, and I can't walk independently more than like two steps without falling. So I'm gonna be safe and have the walker. And in here, we have my infusion supplies. So I'm gonna get my infusion started. So in case you're new around here, my mom has graciously decided to move from North Florida here to Tampa Bay to help me basically. Um, my health has obviously gotten more complicated and with Judd really starting his career now, we could use the extra assistance. So my mom has moved down here and she's gonna be living with us for a bit. So we really appreciate that. Yeah, but I'm looking for a job too. <laughs> <laughs> You're and my own apartment. <laughs> Her job right now is to look after me. <laughs> but, and I will, but you know. But basically everything she's doing is new to her. I mean, she knows me, obviously I'm her daughter, but she hasn't really been hands-on helping with the things. Like I've taught her recently how to do my nutrition and feeds because sometimes I'm just not well enough to do it myself. I'm gonna show her how to change the needle on my port when we do that tomorrow. She hates needles, that's where I get it from. Um, I'm gonna teach her pretty much everything there is to need to know about my care. And so now I'm gonna teach her how to run my infusions, basically. Well, you know, it's very important to understand what your daughter is going through. And the only way to really know about it is to be there with you, with her, and, you know, be able to do the things that she needs to do for herself in case she cannot do it one day, you're there to do it for her. Uh, so when I decided to move um, to the Tampa Bay area to be close to my daughter, I decided that I needed to know everything that she does to herself so I can do it to her in case she's too sick or too, you know, um, too tired or, you know, that she cannot do it. Then I'm here to do it for her. Yeah. So that's what I'm, you know, I want to learn. Exactly. So y'all are going to watch me teach my mom how to hook me up to my infusions. So if I faint, don't worry. <laughs> I there's, hate needles. There's no <laughs> needles involved with this. Oh, thank God. So remember, everything has to be sterile when we do anything with my port. So if like the top of this accidentally touches something, it's, Finish. it's done. And then you can just flush. As fast as they can or? Yeah, it doesn't matter. When you get halfway, stop. Okay, stop. And then you're going to pull back. Because of the air. Now you want to check for blood return. So you want to see blood come out. Perfect. And then you push again, all of it. Then we're going to get this ready. So there's two. You're gonna do one and I'm gonna do one. So take an alcohol swab. Oops, I'm already having problems <laughs> doing this swab. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, here it okay. is. Oh, I lied. There are needles involved in this. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. So take your needle and then you're gonna puncture through the middle. Yep. Flip it upside down. So then flick it to get the drops to the bottom. Push up slowly. You want to just get all all the air out. This is called the med port, the medicine port of the infusion bag. I'm cleaning it. I'm just gonna stick the needle in. Make sure you go right to the center so you don't puncture the bag. And I just push in all of the medicine. All the way in? A little further. And then you can just push the medicine in. You shake the bag up and then you open the tubing. And you just make it go straight in. Now, if you accidentally touch something, this is called the spike, with the spike of the bag, and it's not sterile anymore, you just get a new set of tubing. And then, you see how this is full of air? I can't put air into my port, that's not good. So all I do is I just squeeze the bag, then you open the pump, this is still sterile. So you just connect it, and then you just hit run, and it's infusing. Do you wanna do the other bag? No, why don't you show me again? You don't want to do it? I don't want to do it completely. Okay. So you just primed your first infusion bag. And then after I'm done with this current one, we would hook it up. But we can leave it ready to go. Okay. So that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I need to have it written down. You need it written down? Yeah. Okay. Well, until I, uh, until I learn it by heart. Yeah. Well, you did good. All right. I've been infusing and getting nutrition. 
and I did some training with Harlow, but unfortunately I had to cut it short because my hips started hurting a lot. Still giving me issues from yesterday, so just been resting because rest is required when you sublux your hip. At least for me it is. That's what I do to help rest and use the heating pad. Home. I am home from work and I am off to Orlando to have a fun weekend. Yep, so I will buddies. miss you. I will. I will. <laughs> Ow, falling. <laughs> <laughs> well, Judd is off to Orlando this weekend and we we're kind of joking that we're really putting my mom to the test, which I mean, not really, but actually in all honesty, the only people who really know how to help me with everything my nutrition my infusions if i have one of those really scary angioedema attacks like everything is judd and paul and janice i am independent to a certain extent but things can get really scary with my health really fast and i do need people to help me oh i forgot to include harlow harlow's on that list of people who know how to take care of me so anyways I need to have people knowledgeable in my care with me. I mean, not saying I can't be home alone because sometimes when Judd goes to work, I am home alone, but I can't be by myself for days at a time. I'm usually either with Judd or Paul and Janice, but now my mom is stepping in and she wants to be hands-on with my care. And you know, my loved ones, they want to help me, but they don't always know how. So that's why I show them. You know, my mom, she's got great mother's intuition, but mother's intuition isn't going to teach you sterile protocol for a port. That's why I'm showing her and I'm just so thankful that she wants to be here and she wants to learn and help me and I am really thankful for my support. And I, I know I said it recently, but I'm thankful for the support y'all give us too. So I really just like to say thank you because I am very grateful for all the blessings in my life. My mom and I are out on an evening adventure, but we stopped at the neighborhood dog park first to let Hilo have some fun. Hilo, Hilo, you want this? Go get it. I'm thankful it's cool enough for me to be outside. Oh, she lost interest in the ball. <laughs> She's got more interesting things to smell. <laughs> She's going psycho. <laughs> oh, that's not attractive. What were you eating over there? Harlow is a happy dog. She got to run around, which is awesome. And now my mom and I are on our way to Dairy Queen. We're gonna have some ice cream. I got my blizzard. Mom, what did you get? I got a um, hodgepodge sundae with, um, uh, not pants, the other, cashew nuts, I think it is. No, oh, looks good. We're gonna mm -hmm. enjoy our treat. Ready to go to bed. I think our Dairy Queen was a great way to kick off our girls weekend. Yes. And again, like I said, I've been showing my mom everything to do with my care. And to me, it's kind of just routine now I do it to keep myself functioning. But as I'm showing her everything and explaining it, I'm like, wow, there's actually a lot to do. <laughs> and to remember and the steps and the yeah. sequence. And important things like sterile protocol, of course, but like just getting ready for bed. I just realized it takes me so long because there's so much to do, like meds, mixed meds, breathing treatments, clean my feeding tube, flush it, get nutrition ready, make sure I've taken care of my port and like, oh. But anyways, I am so thankful to have help. Happy Harlow had a good time at the dog park. And that's it, we're excited for our girls weekend. So with that, I'll say good night and thanks for joining us on our adventure.